got me. Hello, I'm Walter Smithson, and I'm here with the last gay man who still eats Chick-fil-A. We're here in his gay uh, hideaway, where he's asked to have his identity concealed by a ski mask that I made from an old ski cap. Welcome. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that I would never wear this ski mask in real life. Uh, it's wool. Um, I feel like homeless Batman, and it uh, doesn't really go with my skin tone, so I, I just wanted to point that out. Got it, got it. So, you still continue to eat Chick-fil-A, even though the CEO came out and said he's 100% against gay marriage. Why? Uh, I just feel that Chick-fil-A is just part of my gay identity. Um, I was actually at a Chick-fil-A eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich when I realized that I was gay. Hmm. Now, according to the show Will and Grace, I thought you were supposed to say that more fabulous, maybe with a lisp. I just had all these unanswered questions and feelings, and. And, and finally, I was at a Chick-fil-A, and I, I looked at a, the box, and I realized that filet rhymes with gay because of the wordplay, and it, it, it all just clicked, and it all made sense, and I, I realized that I was a gay man, and I, I owe everything to Chick-fil-A. I just... What, what is the preferred term? Is it gays, mm -hmm. gay people, homos, homosexuals, Tootsie Pops? What, do... what was that last one? Tootsie Pops. I've never heard that. Where'd you, where'd you hear that from? My son said it at the dinner table. Your son's a bigot. It is hot in hey, here. I had the AC guy. He's supposed to be here today. Okay, let's get this back on the road. Yeah. Um, Please, go on. And I actually met my current partner uh, at a Chick-fil-A uh, and lost my virginity in the bathroom stall of a Chick-fil-A. Sounds as though it's a true love story. Yeah, now, it really what's is. her name? I'm sorry? What's her name? Carlos. Now, exactly how many chicken sandwiches does one have to eat in order to be turned gay? For instance, let's just say in my lifetime, I've eaten 30 chicken sandwiches. Mm. How close am I to being gay? Uh, I don't really think you can eat chicken sandwiches and turn gay. Mm. I, don't, I don't even really think you can turn gay. I don't know, I don't know what you're trying to imply. Well, that, I, I dodged a real bullet there. Uh, uh, the conversation with my wife would have been awkward. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. I, I, I can't get married. I have no rights. Mm. You don't mind if I take my shirt off? No. Do you? By all means. I'm just going to take my shirt off. It's kind of warm in here. It's actually, it's, it's really hot. So I'm just going to flip it away. Feels better. Let me just. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Well, yeah, I just want to say uh, thanks, Chick fil A, for letting me realize that I can be gayer than I ever intended to be. And, uh, you know, every time I eat a chicken sandwich, oh, it just makes me want to do all of the gayest stuff I could ever think of. Like, all of it. And there you have it. This mystery gay man owes his entire gay identity to Chick-fil-A. You could even say that Chick-fil-A is helping the gay community flourish. Good night, and God help us all. Cut. Oh, girl, it is hot. Man. It's like the newsroom, but gayer. Yeah. Such a bear. Oh, is that good? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, it is a lot nicer not wearing a shirt. Do you want to go grab a drink or something? Does that mean have sex with me? Uh, like eventually, yeah. Then, then no, I don't want to drink.